everyone. Welcome to the 30 day photo challenge, uh, April 2021 edition, excuse me. <laughs> My name is Elsie Kifuengare. I'm a Kenyan photographer based in the UK. And for the whole month of April, I'll be sharing with you photo stories from BIPOC women photographers. And we have one with us now. So I'll let you introduce yourself. So go ahead. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Daphne, and I live in Toronto, and I am a self-taught street photographer. Um, I, I was used to calling myself a street photographer because last year before COVID, there was nothing that I liked more than just going out on the street and seeing people and taking their picture. Um, I'm kind of a shy person, so a lot of times I would take pictures from behind, but every once in a while, I would just work up the courage to ask somebody, or if I was, you know, like deft enough with my hands, I could sort of take a secret picture. But since COVID, I would say I'm still a street photographer, but I take pictures now of like infrastructure and just, um, you know, other objects that are not people. Okay, amazing. So for today, which photo or series are you going to share with us? Do you want to talk us through it? Sure. Um, so what I'm going to share with you today is actually just something pretty simple. Um, it's a, a traffic light and it's green, but I, I really like it. I, I love minimalism. Um, that's very exciting to me. And uh, I think, you know, something that, um, that COVID has kind of, uh, I don't know if it, it has helped me with, but it, um, it makes you look at things differently because, you know, you just don't have like the, the same kind of landscape or, or like the surroundings have changed. So you just have to like, look at things that you see every day and you you notice like something interesting or something beautiful about them so that's how i felt about this traffic light so how i took this picture is actually it was around christmas time and i belonged to this gallery downtown and i borrowed a, a, a nikon um, d8 d800 which was a, a professional camera and a camera that i'm not really used to using and it was incredible it was just like it took such gorgeous pictures and it was um nighttime just around my house and I saw this traffic light and I just captured the image and then when I took it home afterwards I, I thought I, I, I love how simple it is and it's also very dramatic and for me also it has a significance of, of just like you know green says go like move forward so I, I like um, you know I see it as a, as a metaphor for me um, but yeah I think that that's really all I can say about it. I just, I like the, um, the fact that the, the background is, is black. I feel like it makes it very dramatic. Yeah. So, you know, you see traffic lights all the time. Something about looking at it just when it's isolated like this um, makes it almost like this object of art, which I, I really like. Yeah. And I, I like, like you said, I like the simplicity of the photograph as well. And the way the yellow pops and then that yes. little yes. spitting of green of the green light. And then yes. you, can, you can't uh, necessarily see the, um, what can I say, the sky, the sky. It's like yeah. it's isolated. It's like almost a piece of art in the middle of the street, yes. so to speak. Of which it is in its own right. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, so I, yeah, so for me, it's just, um, you know, it's, it's, I think what I'm doing now as a photographer is just like looking at everyday things, but looking them, looking at them in a different light and thinking, wow, you know, this is functional, but this is also quite beautiful. Yeah. Uh, when you're photographing this traffic, like were other people around you or were you just by yourself? Yeah, it I like think so. There's, yeah, I mean, not really, you know, because uh, it was around Christmas time and we were, I'm in Toronto, so we were under lockdown. Mm -hmm. So there weren't re really a lot of people around. But um, yeah, I think usually when, I, when I'm out, you know, taking pictures of whatever, there's, there's, there's people around. And as long as I'm not pointing my camera <laughs> at them, it's okay. But I always feel so, uh, like when I see somebody, and I think, oh my God, this person is so beautiful. This person is so interesting. Or I love that this person is wearing what this person is wearing and doing. And then I just, I kind of lose my nerve, you know? And I feel like I have to, I have to work on that because it's just, you know, there's yeah. just so many magic moments that I have not captured. Even um, looking at this photo, it sometimes make you stop and think and look at objects we might necessarily miss. Yes. Like you 
like um i'm assuming this traffic light is high above isn't it it yeah. is so yeah. you, you are looking up and looking at things to photograph of which yeah. i find sometimes as photographers we forget to do that we're always yeah. looking either forward or down oh yeah, definitely we hardly yeah. look up when we're photographing so absolutely no i, I always uh, like I, I make it a point to to look up or just to look at something from different angles you know because things that you pass every day like if you look at them from a different angle it's just they become something else or they become transformative or, or just really really interesting i actually saw someone uh, I don't know if it was a webinar, but I thought the title was so great. And the title was about COVID and it said, um, how a virus became my muse. And I thought, what a great title because it's just like, yes. So this virus that we're all kind of dealing with that has really kind of like limited us and sort of confined us into spaces, it can, you can actually use that to inspire you. So I feel like that's, um, that's kind of going through my work. Oh, um, amazing. And thank you so much for sharing this photo with us. I find it very therapeutic, to be honest. And I'd love it as a print. <laughs> I can see it in a, <laughs> as a print in a wall. It's just staring at this traffic light. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I actually gave it to a friend as a print. And I, for me, I mean, I like the beauty of it, but I also just like the, like, move forward, like, keep going, you know? And I, I just like that as well. Yeah. But yeah. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that photo with us. Um, I'm happy to. Definitely, it was really amazing and I really enjoyed looking at it. Um, so I'm just going to ask you some quick fire questions. I just wanted, right. decided to do this as a fun way of making this <laughs> conversation lively. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you ready? Yes. Okay. Fixed lens or telephoto? Ooh, telephoto. Lightroom or Photoshop? Photoshop. Color or black and white? Ooh, color. <laughs> DSLR or mirrorless? Mirrorless. <laughs> Film or digital? Oh, that's a good one. I'm going to say digital. And the only reason I say digital is uh, I grew up with film. Um, I love film. I think it's amazing. But just for accessibility and cost, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> digital because I there's nothing I like more than just like taking out my card putting it into my uh, computer and then just edit you know yeah for me it's just I, I just really like that <laughs> that's amazing and the, and the funny thing that you said that you know, like I'm a very impatient person yeah but for some reason I still love film <laughs> even though oh, I still love yeah. to wait <laughs> yeah I think I think it's the joy of not knowing and then when you get it, you're pleasantly surprised. I think that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. I th yeah, I totally. I mean, I think, you know, to be in a dark room and to just kind of, you know, do that sort of like alchemy and see what you get. I Yeah, like it's, it's I think, amazing. But for me, it's just like, it's a cost thing. But, I, I you know, I would love to go back into a dark room. So maybe mm. when like lockdown is over, I'd like to do that. So or, or make one at home, build one at home, like for black and white stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just tip up your bathroom, make it really dark and use your bathroom like for an hour or two just to yeah. be in there and develop your film. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> yeah. It was so wonderful, wonderful to speak to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, and thank you as well for agreeing to do this with me because it's really amazing uh, seeing other people's work and also discovering new photographers, people I would not normally come across. Yeah. So this is the whole point of me doing this challenge and, and asking people to collaborate with me. Yeah, no, it's 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 great. And it was also, it's also very hard to choose. I, <laughs> I was just like, oh, I like this one and I like this one and I like this one, but yeah. yeah. So, and as well, that is part of the challenge because as yeah. photographers, we normally... Uh, find ourselves just sharing the what sorry sharing the work and not necessarily speaking about it and this yeah. is the whole point of me doing this as well thank you so much Daphne for sharing your amazing photograph with us I really appreciate taking the time to do that and I'll please make sure you follow Daphne I'll leave all her details in the description bar below and okay. you can find more of our work please make sure you follow her and also thank you for watching Bye. Bye.